have Samus and Diddy Kong. So I definitely feel like about this matchup, it's definitely going to be a little bit more of just Diddy things, because I definitely feel like Diddy um, just plays a lot of neutral. Diddy has to find a little bit more ways yep. to just get in half of the time. And being that this is a matchup where it is Samus, you already know how Samus be playing. Samus yep. be playing the, the, you know, runaway game. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got to say, I have a little bit of beef with Mishka. I feel like oh. Mishka has beaten me in bracket in uh -huh. a way that got me so tilted. So I might be coming in here with a little bit of bias. But right about now, I've got to say, oh, so unfortunate that up B, multi-hit didn't connect. Should mm. uh, should have just not beaten me in bracket. That might have been. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe we wouldn't be at 85% if, you know, they didn't beat you in bracket. Hmm? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I just hope they go back and like watch this VOD and really internalize all of this <laughs> phenomenal info. But yeah, back to the game. Mishka's doing a really good job playing Keep Away. Slingshot able to get the shield out in time, but just really good coverage overall. And oh my goodness, what a way just to get Diddy out of his uppy. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be a lot worse for Diddy if Diddy would just um, be off stage when that happens. So I could definitely see if we can look forward to Mishka doing that and ending for some very cheesy kills in the future. Yeah, for sure. But you know, just dashing and shielding, gonna be looking through that dash attack, would have been able to kill at that point, but the F smash not gonna be able to do it. Samus is quite a beefy girl. All right, able to make it back onto the stage. And Ooh. oh my goodness, I don't think that was intentional. I don't think Slingshot wanted the uh, explosion off the upbeat. Just put him into so much lag. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. But we are gonna get that charge up smash, not gonna do it just entirely yet. A little bit of, uh, you know, weakness mm -hmm. since we are on a fresh stock, but for sure, definitely going to see if we can see the stock ending in a deal sometime mm -hmm. soon. We don't want too much, you know, extra credit coming on the board. Yeah, I feel like um, Diddy Kong, like especially, maybe really similar to Zuga Suit Samus, super evasive and neutral, super mm -hmm. difficult to actually get a hit. But one of the biggest weaknesses is actually finding that kill confirm because you need something like a banana. You saw how late the percent was, 180. Mm -hmm. Slingshot just taking so much extra credit for Mishka. This is quite a lead to amass for yourself, but excellent reaction to that. Just waited a split second and got 40% off of it. Really good stuff. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and I feel like there's a little bit of an issue that, you know, obviously it's kind of the thing you want to make sure that in these type of zoner situations, you always want to make sure that you're not doing too bad at the lead. And wow, that was such a good read call out right there on that spot dodge right there. Not going to kill with that up though just entirely yet, but that... That is just sending a message right there to Slingshot. Yeah, absolutely. What I love most about it is that that was just like enough delay to be able to cover like both a spot dodge and a roll backwards in that same instance. So a lot of defensive options uh, in that like single just little bit of delay. That was just phenomenal for Mishka. But now all of a sudden you got 164 going up against 90%. Right about now all it takes is one charge shot at center mm -hmm. stage to be able to take it off. Now at 90%, we have seen Diddy Kong struggle to get these kills before. We're going to be seeing F Smash not kill quite yet how is slingshot going to be able to do this uh that's what we're all wondering for sure because this is definitely looking a little scary and are we going to see it yes absolutely that's definitely a little bit of a thing that i've been seeing from mishka where mishka will just try to read something with an upbeat and sometimes it just yep. doesn't always work out a little bit too much of a hard committal for samus it definitely needs to be one of those things that you just use for shield because we already saw mm -hmm. how that there was that one time that um mishka actually missed the upbeat so for sure, definitely need to work on that just a little bit. Okay, oh my goodness. The falling banana into the up air and a back air to be able to close that off. That was phenomenal stuff, okay? Gets a really nice charge shot there into the F smash. You can connect that. You can also connect, like, you know, later percents. You could get, like, really deceptively early F tilt kills as well. But now, Slingshot has quite a, big of, uh, quite a bit of a lead for himself. That does not matter when you're against Samus offstage. Samus offstage, you can get ledge trapped to death. Mm, and absolutely. And here's the thing, too. We did just see, you know, Slingshot was at a disadvantage. Slingshot was almost just a stock down, but now Slingshot's almost brought it back. And again, with that up -E not working just, you know, in the very wrong times, and wow, that dash tag not going to take it. Oh, that should have been it. That could have been the F tilt. That could have been the F smash. Mishka had enough time to react in that position, but then maybe ended up buffering a dash back a little bit too soon. This is now anybody's game to take you. Okay, that's a really good trade for Mishka, honestly. Mm -hmm. I got Banana off. I still might have it in hand, but that may be getting a little bit lost in the sauce, holding on to Charlie Shot for just a little bit too long, and just a sitting duck for Slingshot, just to go out there and be like, hey, what are you doing, bud? What's going on out there? Mm -hmm. And that was a really good edge guard right there because that's exactly what, you know, Slingshot needed to take that game overall because we saw, you know, had a little bit of a good time right there just sitting at a very comfortable percent. But um, Mishka, sorry, was just 
making it back and making it back. And we already know how scary that could be, especially against, you know, these types of matchups. So for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I just feel like Mishka started it off super, super strong in that game number one. Also, I've got to say, I'm not getting enough of saying Mishka out loud mm -hmm. because I'm just going with the Russian pronunciation mm -hmm. of it. I don't, you know, I don't really know if that's the case, but I've got to say saying Mishka as many times as I have uh, mm -hmm. has been quite satisfying. And I'm glad that he adapted over the course of that game as well to, uh, you know, said pronunciation. But yeah, I feel like the biggest thing, uh, Slingshot just started to get a little bit more evasive, really like super, like, patient with some of these follow-ups, right? Mm -hmm. Banana in hand at mid-range, waiting for Mishka to maybe whiff a little bit, and then was able to use that as an opening. But what I really loved most about that last game was just Slingshot's like high recovery mix-up at the last mm -hmm. possible second. Mishka wasn't able to set up the edge guard, and Slingshot was able to get back on stage and find a kill. Mm -hmm. Game two, already Mishka with a bit of a lead. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and we've seen these situations before, but I feel like that's going to be one of the things, you know, um, that Slingshot's going to have to kind of adapt to because we saw that game that Slingshot just barely won. But if Slingshot doesn't, you know, make these a little bit of adaptions in order to not be in these positions, we can see the second game going to Mishka. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the, uh, the jab, dash back, pivot grab to be able to catch the Diddy Kong side B? That was such a bizarre interaction. I didn't even know that, like, you know, the grab would be able to hit, like, connect that mm -hmm. high up. But you know what? I guess he learned something new uh, in this kind of matchup. Now Mishka, look at this lead. So mm -hmm. solid, just playing evasively, waiting for the slingshot to commit a little bit too much. Finds a grab, fully throw for a bit of stage. Oh, but the banana just tripping up at the last second. Ooh, wow, again with these same situations that's been calling out Slingshot. Very good and only 24% on the board. We've been seeing Mishka just call so many things out, but are not going to see too much with that combo. That was looking like it was definitely about to be something, but going to put on a little bit more percent on the board, 72%, and we definitely need to see a little bit of something going on right here because right now... Do you see these, these little, like, movement mix-ups from Slingshot? These cute little, like, mm -hmm. pop gun cancels and everything just making themselves so ambiguous right about now. Now got Mishka in the corner, got him off stage. Okay, gonna be looking for the next big hit. Really well-timed shields. You see Mishka not committing a little bit too much. With one button, it's like, okay, I'm gonna slow it down, I'm gonna hold shield here, and I'm just gonna wait until I can get back to center. They got back to center. Now Slingshot, I believe, that's no double jump off stage, but doesn't go through any two frames. Just, you know what, traditional ledge trap flow charts. And here's the thing too, I really like the way that, you know, not only are we having very good, you know, ledge trap situations at that, but we're having really good positioning coming in from Mishka. Although we are gonna have that nice F smash taking off that stock, I really love the way that, you know, Mishka chooses to position himself at the very end of that platform yep. to um, almost kind of deny that area. Oh, that was so sad. Slingshot finally was able to get a punish on like the up B multi hits, not finally connecting. But oh my goodness, I gotta say Mishka is definitely coming along with this ledge trapping has the right idea with the falling zill on mm -hmm. any bigger model that would have connected diddy kong maybe just being a little bit too tiny uh was just able to slip under the hitbox mm -hmm. absolutely and we're seeing a very scary situation for slingshot at 142 percent gonna get that banana into grab not gonna do too much with it just entirely yet but we are setting up for another neutral position right here gonna get that grab in this beach That's it's it. for sure and I gotta say, Mishka just being able to kill off a grab like this, being able to call out Slingshot's movements, so many side Bs, so many like dash up shields as well, as mm -hmm. often as they are, I've gotta say, it's just coming in clutch so, so much right about now. Now 90% with the lead again. We saw this the last game. We saw Slingshot come back from this, so, you know, still anybody's to take it. Absolutely. We need to see Slingshot take a little bit more of a safe approach using the platforms right there again that's what i was talking about with you know a little bit of denying that area you definitely want to see a little a little bit more just maneuverability from slingshot we can definitely see something start happening but again it's just the difference in you know percents and whatnot okay just gonna be really patient landing kid able to finally find the side b command grab Okay, no banana in hand. This is time for Mishka to be able to catch this landing. Mid-range, phenomenal catch on the jump. But oh, Samus. Oh, Samus and new multi-hits. It's, it's a tough time. It's, it's a little bit hard out there for this girl. You know, the space girl. Oh, and that back It only got more difficult, apparently. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mishka going to be on the last stock at this point. Now Slingshot can definitely make this back. Like one banana, you can get quite a bit of a throw combo. But oh my god, how many times? As many times as it needs to, apparently. You know, for sure. I definitely feel like, you know, Mishka's definitely been calling out a lot of these. Wow. Dash attack. Dash attack. Yeah, it's quite strong. Wow. That's interesting.
But for sure, I feel like definitely like Mishka was calling out a lot of these, you know, monkey flips in order to kind of get that, you know, kill pretty early. But it just hasn't been working out. So we definitely need to see that because I don't think, you know, Slingshot was kind of catching on to that because we've seen a lot of those, you know, missed opportunities just because Samus doesn't want to work sometimes. Yeah, that was that was just like kind of wild. I feel like like less up Bs mm -hmm. that actually like fully connected happened than the ones that just failed completely. And it, towards mm -hmm. the end, we just saw Slingshot just be able to take kind of advantage of that a little bit. I just kind of feel for the Mishka on that, but you know what? Still able to take game number two, still mm -hmm. able to take it to a game number three. I feel like this game especially, Slingshot struggled a little bit more uh, landing up against Mishka, and Mishka was just able to get so many different grabs, calling out different things, a lot of side Bs that would typically be safe. There was a lot of matchup specific adjustments that mm -hmm. Slingshot shot has to make it. Okay, what's going on here? What do we got here? That was actually really good recognition from Mishka because that was exactly where the banana was going to left. So we can definitely see why they would go for that grab right there. They wanted oh. to pick up the banana. Sag. That, that is that is just absolutely tragic. And then just ended up whiffing it, ended up landing with a button and just got grabbed into infinity and death. But we're going to be going to Hollow Bastion for, uh, for game number three. How do you feel about this? I, I, I ended up loving Hollow Bastion because it's a lot bigger of a stage than Smashville. Again, oh. it keeps happening. Mishka, you poor big. Not even you deserve this after you knocked me out of bracket. <laughs> this is too many up -bees. Oh, my oh. goodness. I don't know. That was... What's going on here? These callouts? These callouts? I don't know. They're scaring me right now. The 69%? Wow. Oh, my God. That was that. actually, like, so swag. Uh, <laughs> Slingshot just, like, setting up that situation over and over, catching neutral air dodge after neutral air dodge. 75% onto the board, but now you're stuck at the ledge against Samus, committing a little bit too much that time, but phenomenal coverage. As a floaty like Samus, you don't have enough time to be able to get back down. So just a bit of an option coverage moment for Slingshot. Absolutely, and right there, saw it, like um, being able to get out of the corner, Mishka is just not too having too much of a hard time, but wow! That nice banana into F Smash calling out that normal getup. Exactly what Slingshot needs to kind of get himself back into this game right here. Oh, that was such a good wait. Slingshot just like moving, moving, moving. Stopped all of the momentum at like one point and was like, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Pressing buttons, hitting phantom opponents, and was just able to get a tiny whiff punch. And as a result, you're just seeing this chip damage after chip damage after chip damage. Wow. And I really love the way that, you know, Slingshot is, is just controlling this stage overall. Definitely going to see why, you know, he would actually go for this stage, just controlling the center stage overall. Woo! And wow! You, you saw that? I, I didn't even just see it, Jazzy. Uh -huh. I felt it in my bones. That was a menacing spike. That was a call out and a half on low stalled recoveries. And now all of a sudden, you're stuck at the ledge. How do you make it back on? The question is, it's still not going to be answered as Mishka just keeps on recycling the situation over and over. Absolutely. And, you know, very funny thing. I'm pretty sure you can, like, SDI Samus's up B. I'm not sure if that's, like, why we're seeing, you know, a lot of these um, missed opportunities on the up B. But... You know, that's... It might be intentional. It might also be, you know what, pretty horrible luck on Mishka's part. That could be a thing, too. Yes, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, all of a sudden, you're stuck at the ledge here. Mishka just going to be looking for any way to be able to get the stock off. And such a good anti air with the up B. Not even that is going to be able to kill. Absolutely. But then again, I feel like a lot of the times, although it is a really good anti air, I feel like we definitely have a lot more better anti air tools for, you know, Mishka. Mm -hmm. Like, we have up air even. Well, up air, speaking of up air. Yeah. Um, I just feel like a lot of the times, if you definitely want up B for those situations, it's not like always the best thing to use, if you get what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. But okay, could be finding a really big banana punish there. I love how just Slingshot just doesn't go through the immediate reset. Just goes through the full combo, the full damage, just able to push it quite far. And now all of a sudden, this is a massive lead. Banana in hand, just waiting on the whiff. Mishka is being a little bit antsy. Ooh, and absolutely, you can understand why. Was almost three stocks ahead, but now at two. And only 49% on the board right here for Slingshot. And this can be definitely scary for sure. All it takes is one more use of the banana. We can definitely see this game coming to a close. Yeah, Very absolutely. It'll, it'll, it'll take just just about anything at this point. Going to be setting up another edge guard for themselves. Mishka, though, just so, uh, showing so many signs of life here. Keeps on coming back, but keeps on living all of these hits. It's going to take one banana, but wow, just shielding at the best possible moment. Absolutely, and this is, again, 150%. Is that going to do it? Oh, no, not yet. I think it's a little bit higher percent. Maybe I was wrong. 
Um, but for sure, this is definitely looking. That's it. Yep. Wow. That was that was a clinic game for you guys. Mm. I feel like even like the way that slingshot just sort of opened off the first stock. Like mm -hmm. we saw like I think one of the coolest things I've seen Diddy Cog do, which was like, like that call out on the neutral air dodge over mm -hmm. and over with the bananas. Um, Mishka, as opposed to game one and game two, I felt like there was like a number of anti options. We saw like a lot of momentum resets, a lot of, you know, like like tempo shifts from Slingshot, mm -hmm. where they kept on moving and moving and stopping. And we saw Mishka not adapt to that, not slow down the gameplay, and instead be like, oh, I'm gonna jump, fall, and get aerial dash back, F smash, while Slingshot mm -hmm. just stood there. And even if not all of those instances transitioned into a massive pu uh, punish, mm -hmm. oh my god, this down air, wow. Absolutely. Not even if like all those instances transitioned into like a massive punish, the reality is it just did a bit of mental damage as well. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, chip damage adds up both on your character and on your psyche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's just the thing. I don't think Mishka was able to recover from that overall because, you know, even if you are playing a character like Samus, who yeah. generally loves to run away, you can't always run away, especially when you're not in the lead too. And just those callouts again from, you know, um, Slingshot, that I think that really solidified mm -hmm. that last game for us here. But for sure, we gotta go on and talk about this next game. We have Dark